Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm jumping into the newest devotional kit from Creative Retreat Kits. This is Abundantly More. I do have an unboxing over on my channel, so I will link that down below for you guys. Um, But for this video, I'm going to be working in my growth journal. I've been enjoying doing this the last few months with these kits, just giving me a place to organize all the reflection questions and respond to them all in one place. So I'm going to be starting that way again this month. But before I start sticking things down, I wanted to have a little fun with this amazing stuff stencil that came in the kit this month. I know a lot of you guys have gelatos and use gelatos or are curious about gelatos. I personally don't love them, but I'm going to work with them today so that you guys can have some ideas. So uh, I have three colors here. I tried to pick out some iridescent ones. So this is Nebula. I also have Rose Quartz, and then I'll pull out Odyssey towards the end there. But I'm just picking up a little bit of the pigment with my baby wipe, like a very like slightly damp baby wipe, picking up the color and then applying it through the stencil. I do have a tip Tuesday all about gelatos. If you have some and you're not sure how to use them or you're curious about whether you want to get some and play with them, it gives a variety of techniques for using them, um, tips, tricks, things like that. So I will link that down below for you guys. But for today, um, I wanted to keep it fairly simple, but as soon as I saw the stencil, it just made me think of mermaids and I needed some kind of like ombre mermaid tail situation happening on this page. So I'm going to kind of blend these colors together. I This one here is actually Canary Diamond. I ended up swapping this out because the yellow wasn't quite bright enough for me. Uh, in the color swatches over on Instagram, I did choose banana as the yellow, but that one is just a like matte. It's not iridescent. And since we're going for fish scales, I wanted something iridescent. So this is Odyssey. Um, I will try to link them down below. They Some of them come in packs. Some of them are open stock. Um, gelatos, you just kind of have to search around um, for where to purchase them and how to purchase them. So As I'm applying this, I am letting the colors kind of blend together a little bit. Uh, So you can see I get like teal to green to yellow, and then I'll bring the pink in, which will bring in a little bit of orange as well. Now, gelatos, the reason I don't use them very often is they can be a little bit tricky to write over the top of. They are permanent once they are heat set and dry, um, but they can maintain a little bit of a waxy feeling, which makes them hard to write over. But um, because of that, I'm just careful to only apply it to the bottoms and the edges of these pages um, and leave myself plenty of room to write. And I'm also going to be adding some journaling cards that will cover up a lot of this. Um, So it's going to work for this. You could do the same technique in a journaling Bible. Gelatos do not bleed through the pages. Again, they are permanent once they're heat set, so you don't have to worry about them running or transferring. Um, But they can just be a little bit tricky to write over. um, So you have to be careful with your pens and things like that. But for something like this, they work. And this is one of the reasons I like working in the growth journal is because it gives you space to try things out, to play with different products, play with different layouts, um, and not worry so much about things getting messy up like you would in your journaling Bible. So um, it kind of just gives you a fun place to play around, but also functional. You know, I'm going to go back and answer all of my reflection questions in here as well. So there you can see, I just have kind of a fun, like rainbowy fish scale pattern going on on the bottom there. Um, Again, this workbook is meant to be worked in, written in. So I'm not wanting a whole lot of artwork. I'm not wanting a whole lot of fuss when it comes to that, but it is fun to just have a little bit of color on there. I am going over with a dry paper towel just to pick up any kind of like chunks and things. Sometimes the gelatos can get a little chunky and that will transfer or kind of flake off. So you want to make sure it's nice and smooth and then heat setting it to make sure that it's permanent um, and just adhered to the page so I don't have to worry about it transferring. But because I use the iridescent gelatos, it has this really fun kind of sparkle to it. And now I can start adding in all my elements. So I did go ahead off camera and cut out a lot of these printables. This was the printable set that you can purchase in addition to the devotional kit. And then I cut out the reflection questions from the devotional booklet. Uh, You could write them out, but I just, I want to save time. I want to get straight to the study part. So I just cut them out and use those um, straight directly in my uh, growth journal. And then I'll just start adhering things down. Those labels were from the printables as well. Um, This washi tape, if I can find it, I will link it down below. Uh, I like to add washi to some of the printables and things just to add a little bit of different texture. You'll see I'll go in with my stapler and just things like that to kind of dress up printables. 
And I'm going to add the title of the kit up at the top here. I like to do that in my journal. That way I know um, which kit this particular layout goes with. And then I pulled out this leafy stamp from the stamp set and it, it does have a slight curve to it. And so one nice thing about clear stamps is that you can kind of manipulate them on the block. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm actually trying to get it to curve in the opposite direction. Um, but unfortunately, right as I go to stamp it down, it straightens back out <laughs> because I had just washed my stamp. It was a little bit damp and not sticking to the block. And so now I'm like, well, dang it, that's not quite what I wanted. So I'm going to go in and just kind of fill in around it with the stamp. It's okay. This is kind of the nice thing about working in a journal as opposed to your Bible is that when things like that happen, it's not the end of the world. It's not, you know, in your legacy Bible that you're passing down to your kids and your grandkids. It's just where my notes go. So if it's not perfect, it's not the end of the world. And I can figure that out now before I go to my Bible. And now I'll know when I go to use that stamp, I need to make sure that it's dry before I manipulate it on the stamp block. Um, you know, I can test out that gelato technique before I go into my Bible and that kind of thing. So maybe just grabbing like a lined notebook or something like that to play in. Um, but also have a place to answer your questions um, might be helpful if you're new to Bible journaling or if you're getting kind of frustrated with some of the products. So this particular journal has some Bible verses already printed in it, and the Romans verse didn't quite match the devotional content. So I just cut out a square of the printable pattern paper and then added that sticker from the sticker sheet and had a new verse that went along with the uh, kit this month. And then I'm just going in now that I have my spots kind of blocked off where I'm going to answer the questions, I can now go in and embellish a little bit more. So I brought in those fish from the printables. Um, you could do this with just the sticker sheet uh, and kind of adapt it that way. But I found it super helpful to have the printables as well. And it is nice that you can also reprint them multiple times. So if I wanted to print more labels, I could. If I wanted more journaling cards, I could. More tabs, things like that. I'm going to go ahead and add the date up here. That way I know um, which month this kit came from and just adding some washi tape and things like that around the page to bring in some more color. Uh, there's this little texture stamp in the stamp set that you can use just like I am here as a texture, but also it works as little bubbles for the fish. So I'm just bringing in some more of that maroon color um, since I used it for the month of July. Um, just kind of spread that around. And that's pretty much going to be it. I'm going to respond to the questions off camera this time. Um, I know I filled it in last time so that you can see it all filled in. But these have some more kind of in-depth questions um, that I felt like needed to be off camera. So there's a look at the layout. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box for links to everything that I mentioned today. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.